Hey everybody, Dave Spector here, musical director and guitar instructor with Chicago Blues Network, chicagobluesnetwork.com. Thanks for checking out today's lesson with the Howlin' Wolf classic, Smokestack Lightning in the key of E. Interesting thing about this tune, it's just a one chord vamp. Sometimes they'll call it a drone. Um, I prefer a vamp, it just stays on that one chord for the whole song, there are no chord changes. Okay, a lot of Great Muddy Waters, John Lee Hooker, Lightning Hopkins, Howlin' Wolf have that just one chord vamp feel. And it can be really powerful and effective. And um, Smokestack Lightning has a signature guitar riff that's really cool. On the original recording uh, from Chess Records in the 50s, I believe Hubert Sumlin and Willie Johnson were the two guitar players. I had the pleasure of working with Hubert many times. Um, I toured with him when I was in my 20s and I've played with him towards the end of his life. Um, amazingly uh, important and unique and a very special musician. Um, check out Hubert Sumlin. He's on almost all of the, uh, the great Howlin' Wolf records on chess. Willie Johnson, um, lesser known, but a great player, played on uh, a lot of Wolf's early sessions before he came to chess. He recorded down in Memphis at Sun Records. And I also had the pleasure of meeting Willie when he was uh, still alive in Chicago in the 90s. So the riff in the key of open E I'm uh, going to be using my fingers here. I mostly play with a flat pick. I learned this neat little trick when I first started playing where I kind of cup the pick and tuck it into my middle finger and it frees up these two fingers, my thumb and my index, and then I can grab it real quickly and pick with it. So my thumb is going down and my index finger is going up on that low E string and high, string, high E string which are going to be uh, keynotes in the riff for Smokestack Lightning. And here, uh, here's the beginning of the Smokestack Lightning riff. So that's just low E, high E. And my ring finger is putting a little vibrato on that G at the third fret, high uh, E string. And then... fret G string and my index finger on the third fret B string and I alternate going down up down G string B string G string and then I slide that middle finger down fourth fret second fret so here's what we got so far it off uh, so when we slide down from the fourth fret to the second fret on the G string then we hit it open and we resolve we resolve to the root to the E second fret D string here it is finger. Played it with a pick, it would sound a little different. I played uh, many, many gigs with Hubert, and I don't think I ever saw him use a pick. Part of that great sound he had came from using his fingers. So um, your call, play it with a pick, that's cool. Use uh, your fingers, that's cool too. There's a variation of one note on the riff that you hear, I think, that starts when the vocals kick in on the recording. And all that is is... So the third note, instead of... Instead of being a G... It's a D. is the same. So 
So let me slow that down. This is the variation, the second, uh, the second uh, part of the riff. It's the same exact riff, I just change one note instead of it's so it's just third fret G string, third fret B string. And they kind of alternate, sometimes every other time, mostly like two, two, uh, two times on each one, kind of like this, two, three, four. similar very similar groove and a similar riff it's called I asked for water I asked for water and she brought me gasoline if that ain't the blues I don't know what is but uh, that's basically the riff you know there are two guitars doing it it's kind of challenging to distinguish them on the recording you have to listen really hard but I always like to have a, uh, a rhythm guitar part a complimentary part to play if there are two or three guitar players in the band it doesn't always sound great if you're both playing the same exact thing um, so you know a couple basic rhythm options would just be to maybe play a, a, a seventh chord and I like the movable C7 chord a lot so in the key of E it'll be at the fifth sixth and seventh fret play both you can play both E strings if you want to or you can just play like I'm doing now the notes that I'm fretting so if you were playing rhythm you could do something like that just like a do it kind of soft and subtle though because that that main guitar riff really has to be prominent um, always good and I'm guilty sometimes of not playing underneath a lead guitar player you definitely want to compliment you want to comp behind your lead guitar player in a way that complements him you don't want to be on top of him you want to kind of be tucked back you know where you're playing at a rhythm guitar level which is usually softer than the lead guitar that can um, that can be done often with just a lighter touch you have a built-in volume control with your right hand I see a lot of guys that are just always playing hard and they don't alter their touch enough it's really um, annoying if you're the lead guitar player and the rhythm guitar player is playing really hard behind you and if you're playing with dynamics it's really hard to to get the right feel and to be heard over him so when you're playing rhythm guitar be aware of your touch when you're playing lead guitar be aware of your touch you know you can play that lick from that riff from smokestack lightning at different volumes just by how hard you pick the notes so i'll just do the fingers again lighter touch. There I'm playing with a heavier touch. I didn't touch my volume. So when you're playing that type of rhythm, just using that seventh chord. So I'm kind of being uh, conscientious, aware of my touch, trying to keep it at a nice ease back kind of vibe. That seventh chord also sounds really nice up here. Playing that little compact E chord and adding the seventh. Fifteenth fret B string. This is just a darker lower register sound. So again, let me just play that riff for you a couple more times and we'll call it a lesson. Two, three, four.
thanks for tuning in. Check us out at chicagobluesnetwork.com and uh, keep playing the blues. See you next time.